Today, we're diving into a crucial component of your vehicle's suspension system, shock absorbers. They're one of those parts that most of us rarely think about until there's a problem. But without them, driving would be a bone-rattling, unsafe, and downright uncomfortable experience. So what are shock absorbers, and how do they work? Let's find out. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. To start, let's talk about what shock absorbers actually are. Simply put, a shock absorber is a mechanical or hydraulic device designed to absorb and dampen the impact of road shocks. They're a key part of your car's suspension system, which also includes springs, struts, and other components. While springs support the weight of the vehicle and cushion it from vertical impacts, shock absorbers control the unwanted motion caused by those impacts. Together, they create a smoother and more stable ride by managing how the car interacts with the road surface. Shock absorbers play a vital role in maintaining your vehicle's handling, comfort, and safety. Without them, your car would bounce uncontrollably whenever you hit a bump, making it nearly impossible to steer or stop effectively. They also help ensure that your tires stay in constant contact with the road. This is critical because the more your tires stay planted on the surface, the better your traction and braking performance. So in essence, Shock absorbers don't just make your ride more comfortable, they make it safer. Now let's look at how shock absorbers work. A typical shock absorber consists of a cylinder filled with hydraulic fluid, a piston, and a piston rod. When your car goes over a bump, the springs compress and release energy. Without a shock absorber, this energy would cause the vehicle to continue bouncing long after hitting the bump. The shock absorber steps in to control this motion by converting the kinetic energy from the springs into heat energy, which is then dissipated. Here's how this conversion happens. When the piston inside the shock absorber moves up and down in response to the spring's motion, it forces hydraulic fluid through small, precisely engineered valves. These valves create resistance, slowing down the piston's movement. This resistance is what absorbs the energy of the spring's oscillations and converts it into heat. The heat is then dissipated into the surrounding air, ensuring that the motion doesn't transfer back to the car body or wheels. Shock absorbers are designed to handle a range of conditions, from small bumps to major jolts. To do this effectively, they're often built with a twin tube or monotube design. The twin tube shock absorber is the most common type, consisting of two chambers, one for hydraulic fluid and one for air or gas. The monotube shock absorber, on the other hand, features a single chamber divided into two sections, one for the hydraulic fluid and one for gas, separated by a floating piston. Both designs have their pros and cons. Twin tube shocks are typically more affordable and provide a smoother ride for everyday driving. However, they're less effective at dissipating heat during high performance use. Monotube shocks, while more expensive, excel at handling heat and provide better performance for sporty or off-road applications. Some modern vehicles also feature adjustable shock absorbers which allow drivers to fine tune their suspension settings based on road conditions or personal preferences. Over time, shock absorbers can wear out, just like any other component in your car. When they lose their effectiveness, you'll start to notice changes in how your car feels and performs. Signs of worn out shock absorbers include excessive bouncing, poor handling, and longer stopping distances. You might also hear unusual noises coming from the suspension or notice uneven tire wear, which happens when the shocks can no longer keep the tires firmly planted on the road. Replacing shock absorbers is an essential part of vehicle maintenance. Neglecting them can lead to more significant problems, 
like damage to other suspension components or even loss of control in extreme situations. Experts recommend checking your shocks every 50,000 to 100,000 miles, depending on your driving conditions. If you frequently drive on rough roads or carry heavy loads, your shock absorbers may wear out faster. Now let's address a common question. Are shocks and struts the same thing? The answer is no. While both perform similar functions in the suspension system, they're different components. A shock absorber is a standalone part, whereas a strut combines the shock absorber with other suspension elements like the coil spring. Struts also play a structural role in the vehicle's suspension, whereas shocks are primarily focused on damping motion. Depending on your car's design, it may have shocks, struts, or a combination of both. Shock absorbers aren't just for cars, either. They're found in a wide range of applications, from motorcycles and bicycles to industrial machinery and even airplane landing gear. In high-performance vehicles, specialized shocks are designed to handle extreme conditions, such as rapid cornering, heavy braking, or intense off-road use. These advanced shocks often include features like adjustable damping rates, remote reservoirs for better heat dissipation, or even electronic controls that adjust in real time based on driving conditions. Speaking of technology, modern vehicles are increasingly equipped with electronically controlled shock absorbers. These systems use sensors and actuators to adapt the damping force dynamically. For example, when you're driving on a smooth highway, the system might soften the shocks for maximum comfort. But when you're cornering at high speeds, it can stiffen them to improve stability and reduce body roll. These adaptive systems represent the future of suspension technology, offering a perfect balance between comfort and performance. So there you have it. Shock absorbers might be out of sight, but they should never be out of mind. They're essential for a safe, comfortable, and controlled ride. From their basic function of damping motion to the advanced technology of electronic systems, they play a pivotal role in modern transportation. The next time you hit the road, take a moment to appreciate the engineering marvels working tirelessly beneath your car. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.